Do you believe in the divine as isolated from the world? Einstein asked. Tagore responded, Not isolated. The infinite personality of man comprehends the universe. There cannot be anything that cannot be subsumed by the human personality, and this proves that the truth of the universe is human truth. I have taken a scientific fact to illustrate this. Matter is composed of protons and electrons with gaps between them, but matter may seem to be solid. Similarly, humanity is composed of individuals, yet they have their interconnection of human relationship which gives living solidarity to man's world. The entire universe is linked up with us in a similar manner. It is a human universe. I have pursued this thought through art, literature, and the religious consciousness of man. Einstein responded, There are two different conceptions about the nature of the universe. First, the world as a unity dependent on humanity. And second, the world as a reality independent of the human factor. Tagore claimed, when our universe is in harmony with man, the eternal, we know it as truth, we feel it as beauty. Einstein said, This is a purely human conception of the universe. Tagore, There can be no other conception. This world is a human world. The scientific view of it is also that of the scientific man. There is some standard of reason and enjoyment which gives it truth, the standard of the eternal man, whose experience are through our experiences. Einstein stated, This is a realization of the human entity. Tagore responded, Yes, one eternal entity. We have to realize it through our emotions and activities. We realize the supreme man who has no individual limitations through our limitations. Science is concerned with that which is not confined to individuals. It is the impersonal human world of truths. Religion realizes these truths and links them up with our deeper needs. Our individual consciousness of truth gains universal significance. Religion applies values to truth and we know truth as good through our own harmony with it. Einstein asked, Truth then, or beauty, is not independent of man? Tagore responded, No. Einstein asked, If there would be no human beings anymore, the Apollo of Belvedere would no longer be beautiful. Tagore replied again, No. Einstein responded, I agree with regard to this conception of beauty, but not with regard to truth. Tagore, why not? Truth is realized through man. Einstein stated, I cannot prove that my conception is right, but that is my religion. Tagore said, Beauty is in the ideal of perfect harmony which is in the universal being. Truth, the perfect comprehension of the universal mind. 
we individuals approach it through our own mistakes and blunders through our accumulated experience through our illumined consciousness how otherwise can we know the truth einstein replied i cannot prove scientifically that truth must be conceived as a truth that is valid independent of humanity but i believe it firmly i believe for instance that the pythagorean theorem in geometry states something that is approximately true independent of the existence of man anyway if there is a reality independent of man there is also a truth relative to this reality and in the same way the negation of the first engenders a negation of the existence of the latter tagore further responded truth which is one with the universal being must essentially be human otherwise whatever we individuals realize as true can never be called truth at least the truth which is described as scientific and can only be reached through the process of logic in other words by an organ of thoughts which is human according to indian philosophy there is brahman the absolute truth which cannot be conceived by the isolation of the individual mind or described by words but can only be realized by completely merging the individual in its infinity but such a truth cannot belong to science the nature of truth which we are discussing is an appearance that is to say what appears to be true to the human mind and therefore is human and may be called maya or illusion einstein inquired so according to your conception which may be the indian conception it is not the illusion of the individual but of humanity as a whole tagore responded in science we go through the discipline of eliminating the personal limitations of our individual minds and thus reach that comprehension of truth which is in the mind of the universal man einstein stated the problem begins where the truth is independent of our consciousness tagore responded what we call truth lies in the rational harmony between the subjective and objective aspects of reality both of which belong to the super personal man einstein explained even in our everyday life we feel compelled to ascribe a reality independent of man to the objects we use we do this to connect the experiences of our senses in a reasonable way for instance if nobody is in this house yet that table remains where it is tagore replied yes it remains outside the individual mind but not outside the universal mind the table which i perceive is perceptible by the same kind of consciousness which i possess einstein remarked our natural point of view in regard to the existence of truth apart from humanity cannot be explained or proved but it is a belief which nobody can lack no primitive beings even we attribute to truth a superhuman objectivity it is indispensable for us this reality which is independent of our existence and our experience and our mind though we cannot say what it means Tagore stated Science has proved that the table as a solid object is an appearance and therefore that which the human mind perceives as a table would not exist if that mind were not at the same time it must be admitted that the fact that the ultimate physical reality of the table is nothing but a multitude of separate revolving centers of electric forces also belongs to the human mind in the apprehension of truth there is an eternal conflict between the universal human mind and the same mind confined in the individual the perpetual process of reconciliation is being carried on in our science and philosophy and in our ethics in any case if there be any truth absolutely unrelated to humanity 
then for us it is absolutely non-existing. It is not difficult to imagine a mind to which the sequence of things happens not in space but only in time like the sequence of notes in music. For such a mind its conception of reality is akin to the musical reality in which Pythagorean geometry can have no meaning. There is the reality of paper, infinitely different from the reality of literature. For the kind of mind possessed by the moth which eats that paper, literature is absolutely non-existent. Yet for man's mind, literature has a greater value of truth than the paper itself. In a similar manner, if there be some truth which has no sensuous or rational relation to the human mind, it will ever remain as nothing so long as we remain human beings. Then I am more religious than you are, claimed Einstein. Tagore responded, My religion is in the reconciliation of the super-personal man, the universal human spirit in my own individual being. This has been the subject of my Hibbert lectures, which I have called the religion of man.